Hi, I'm Sherry Ortiz. And I'm Vicki Romans. From Ask the Experts on DentalXrays.info. We've had a lot of questions about patients that have tori and how to x-ray and get around these tori and get good films. Well, actually, what is a tori? Five to 40% patients have them. They aren't anything to be concerned about. They're just extra bone that some people um, develop in their mouth. A lot of people don't even know they have them. We do when we have to x-ray them, though. If you look over here, you can see these little large radiolucent areas, or I should say radiopaque areas, on our films. And these are actually that extra bony growth that w is actually what a tori is, and it's projected on your film as a little bit more dense area. So you won't be able to eliminate this at all on your films when you're taking them, but you have to be able to get the x-ray in there to um, get the images of the teeth that you need. And this can be a problem sometimes, especially when those tori are very, very large. If you want to look inside the mouth, the bony growths that I'm talking about are on the lower, right behind the canines usually, and they're two large uh, bumps there that can cause a problem when putting the x-ray into the mouth. So we'll show you some techniques to get around it. Usually what you want to do is place the bottom edge of the film behind the tori and not on them. So this piece here is going to really be set a little bit farther back depending on the, the size of those large growths. And once you get behind them, raise the bar up and then have them gently bite down. And this won't cause any pain or anything, but they still um, will, you'll still be able to get the anterior teeth very nicely by just putting it behind them instead of on top of them. Um, it makes it a lot more comfortable on the patient's mouth. Notice I did have a size one film. He is a little narrower. And depending on the shape of the dental arch, you can either use a size one or a size two. The offices that don't use the ring instruments, but they do the bisecting angle, um, can actually get some nice films with Tori also. So what I did is I'm using this type with the, the slant of uh, the bite block where it places the film more on a slant instead of straight. It doesn't matter which type you have, they both work really nice. So again, the bottom edge is going to go behind those two bumps. So you're going to put it really far back, raise it up before he bites down together. You can see that this actual piece works so nice because the bite block is actually thicker and it takes the place of a cotton roll actually that you don't you can eliminate that step. I'm going to turn them to the side a little bit. By doing so this film right now is placed on an angle about so. If we don't have our ring and bar to guide our vertical tube angle we have to now set our own so how much do we angle the tube in the up and down motion so we do not get elongation or first shortening on those teeth. If you actually foul this actual bite block here with your x-ray cone, you'll be able to really get the correct tube angle because this is set in the relationship of the uh, angle of the film that's in the mouth right now. So what I'm going to do is bring the cone, line up the top edge of the cone so it's running in the same line that this actual uh, bite block is running. So. I think is it just about like so and that's about how much vertical tube angle I'm actually going to need. Just make sure the top edge is covering you know a little bit above the bottom edge of this so you're not going to cone cut the um, occlusal surface of the teeth. Had it been that has this if this has been in the mouth on a different angle let's just say it was like this. Okay close. Now you can see that this angle is even more severe. So in that case, you're going to have to increase bottom up your vertical tube angle to compensate for the film being a little bit more flatter in the mouth too. So you will set it more in this angle versus the first one that I showed. Had you changed this or not changed it accordingly to this, the slant of this, we will cause the wrong vertical tube angle and will cause an elongated or foreshortened image. So always follow the position of this with your tube and you shouldn't have any problem. Sometimes the uh, premolar PAs also create a problem when there's tori in the mouth. I'm going to show you the two techniques with, with using um, 
first the bisecting angle. Um, again, what you want to do is put the film itself not on top of the tori so that the film is next to the, the teeth. You're going to move it away so that the film sits directly between the two tori. There should be a space between the two that allows you to uh, actually lower the uh, x-ray film in. So it's going to be right in between the two. Have the patient gently close and as they close the film is going to adjust accordingly to how it can fit. Because the film now is slanting a little bit away from you, you want to make sure that your vertical tube angle is slanting upward to accommodate the slant of the film, which is going under the tongue more than this way. So because it's slanted, you're going to actually set your vertical tube angle more in an upward uh, placement when you're x-raying this premolar. Just make sure the top edge of the film or the top edge of the cone is covering the top edge of the snap array because your film itself is right below the snap array and not above. So you can see this is incorrect, this is correct. The side of the cone should actually be so that it just skims the corner of the snap array and that's so that you do not miss the, the actual image here or here and getting cone cut. You want to make sure that the whole uh, x-ray a plate is right within the circle. So this would be correct in this position like that. If you're using the rings for the uh, premolars, again um, I'm going to just retract the cheek a little bit to accommodate this piece. Make sure that this edge of this film is right between the two tori you can feel in their large bumps. So I retract the cheek to, to accommodate this piece. It makes it a lot easier on the patient. And then so you can just kind of get that in there first, holding the cheek out. And then if, just put your chin down just a little bit so they can see. And you don't want this on the tori, right in between the two. Once you get a place there, allow them to close, let go of the bar so that it works its way down and he can actually close right, right onto the bite block. Slide your ring in, and because you do have the ring system and the bar, which makes your vertical tube angle easy to set, you follow the bar and, this, and put the cone in the same direction the bar is um, directed, and you should have a perfect film. I hope this has been beneficial to you in helping you uh, take your x-rays when there are problems such as tori in a patient's mouth. But if you have any other questions, please visit us at dentalxrays.info and click on Ask the Experts.